And to quote our next guest, Katie Mohammed, with permission, I quote, you are not an imposter, you're actually pretty remarkable, end quote. Now, to define what the imposter syndrome is, it is an all too common feeling of being inadequate in your career and feeling undeserving of greater success. And to wrap up Women's Month, we have the pleasure of having Katie Mohammed, founder of Women's Empowerment Movement, W Suite. Okay, Katie, good to have you and thank you so much. Just the energy that you brought coming into the studio speaks of the type of character that you are in the sense that you are a collaborator and you want to share um, not only of the benefits that we have in the country but to empower women as well. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, on a Sunday, it's amazing to be here. Yeah. I think it's important, and I think as women, it is an important uh, relationship that we should have with each other in, in order for us to be able to be the best version of ourselves. And how do we lead like women? And that's what I am all, all about. It's always about how do we lead like women? How, it, how do we bring people along the journey with us? How do we open doors for others? Uh, and what are the conversations that need to happen D during this, uh, the, these transitions of our lives. Yeah, and, and I think we've evolved in the sense now that um, com compatibility, or rather, it's not about competing, it's about um, uh, complementing and complementing yeah. um, each other as well. So let's just look at the imposter syndrome. I, I needed to reflect as well, where as women you might feel unworthy and undeserving, be it of a promotion, or be it a salary increase, and not being able to essentially sell yourself. I think when we talk imposter syndrome, we also talk about in imposter experiences, and, and I think that's what it is. Um, I often say that, you know, syndrome sounds like it is actually a disease. It's actually not a disease. It's not a mental illness. It's really all about, it's, it, it, it's not even about us having anxiety. It's not a lack of self-esteem or self-confidence. It's really what it is. I mean, some of us are so capable and we walk into a room and we're like, are we, are we sure we, we, we're meant to be here? And it's about what you said earlier on. It's about this unworthiness, you know, uh, it, you know, do we belong here? And I think it also stems from us being women of color as well. Because if you think about, you know, our parents, our grandparents, you come home with 70%, they would like, oh, but you could have gotten 75%. And you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. And I think it's driving that, that, that positive mindset of that we are good enough. We are worthy. We are meant to be at these tables. Yeah. And how much of that, I suppose it's also part of self-actualization or self-mastery, uh, where you have to dig deep into your own, be it childhood traumas or certain untruths that were told exactly, albeit that it was uh, meant, uh, you know, it came from a good place, like your parents. Mm -hmm. Your child says, I've got 70, you said, but what happened to the 30%? I know. It's somewhere in the orbit, find yeah. it type of thing, you know? And that creates a lot of scars growing up. So how do you dismantle all of those uh, niggling childhood I think, traumas? I think, it's, I, I think it's also talking about it. I think it's important if we talk about it. Because if we talk about uh, our, uh, our self-doubt and this actualization of us not being worthy, we know that we're not alone because everybody else feels like that. Um, and there's, there's so many terms that, that, that's out there about you know, what, what are we and where are we meant to be in our lives. But I think is we put ourselves up for failure as well. So if we learn and if we learn to master, like you said, master to be the best version of ourselves at that time, we will be okay. And having conversations with other people, because I think if you look around, I think sometimes I think I'm the only one that walks into a room and I'm like, do I belong here? You think that. But because it's all individualistic. And I think that's just so ignorant because we know that people, it's called pluralistic ignorance because we think that we only suffer this on ourselves. And I think if we talk to each other, um, and not self-sabotage ourselves, because that's what we do. We self-sabotage ourselves. And we need to talk to ourselves that we have the most amazing capabilities, the most amazing achievements. And yes, of course, there, we talk about humility and, you know, sometimes, but, you know, if we talk about humility and, and, and we need to be humble, but sometimes um, hu humility hinders us as well. We need to be proud of our achievements, and I think that's the one uh, thing that we need to, to, to do is to ensure that we talk about our achievements. Yeah, and, and the humility again, because you expect it to be soft and to be elegant as a woman, assertive, but it, it, to an extent also know your place. So you can't be too bold, you can't be too much, you can't want to um, rattle the cage 
as, as it were. Do you find that especially with women in the echelons of power where there's still not enough gender parity, um, the imposter syndrome is even um, imposed on them in the sense, even if they're not feeling that way? It is because again, people do not compliment you. Like we spoke early on, people don't compliment you. So when you leave a presentation, you know, people would, like, would, would probably often say you could have done better. Just say thank you for the effort that you put into it, even if you, you, know, if you felt that it wasn't great. And I think it's also about other people as well. But you know, Maya Angela also had imposter syndrome. 12 books later, she felt that she had this nagging self-doubt that, that you know, she, didn't, she wasn't a great poet. Albert Einstein, because it's not also reserved only for women as well. I mean, Albert Einstein, you know, spoke about uh, involuntary swindler. He thought that, you know, he wasn't actually great. So if you have the levels of those people that they think that they did not belong, I think it's a constant work, work in progress of where we need to be, believing that we are great, believing that we're good enough and that we are enough. Yeah, and maybe the self-fulfilling prophecy, as you're saying, we also have a tendency to self-sabotage, is things like fake it until you make it or the comparison that you would have with, other people in the workspace or even your contemporaries or colleagues in a particular industry where you mirror or want to mirror yeah. uh, who they are. So the authenticity of appreciating your uniqueness and that adding to, to society. I always say fake it until you become it. You can <laughs> fake it until you become it because yeah. I mean that's, that's how we need to be and that's important. And of course we have a lack of representation and role models and I think that's also you know people that look like us that are in these jobs and when we're there we like, you look around you're like people don't look like and I think it's that it's if we have more representation and that's why with WC is we try to drive the agenda of, of women in leadership um, is that if we see people that look like us, I think we would feel um, we would have less doubt. Uh, and I think that's an important agenda to drive as well. Yeah. Um, and, and in terms of your membership, is it subscription based? Are there events? How do you go about it? Oh, at W Suite, it's just a community of people. Uh, you know, you log on to our website, you become a member, you become, so there's no cost to it. There's always events. We, have, we host amazing platforms where women can come together, connect, collaborate, uh, and communicate about exactly where they are, where they need to be. And it's an amazing platform to be part of. Um, we often have, you know, mentorship is a huge driver for our agenda as well. We drive mentorship masterclasses. So yes, become part of a movement where we say, let, how do we lead like women? How do we get to where we need to be? Mm. And, and it's also focused on business and access to resources, etc. Absolutely. For, for women that are in that space. But also not about business. Is I often think that, you know, women in general, we all need to be able to see what is our side hustle look like? You know, um, you know, whether I'm a receptionist and I want to, you know, start a baking, uh, uh, you know, a bakery. How can we help those kind of women? So it's really, it's really about how we all can come together. Uh -huh. And you also have a podcast. I mean, there's no end to your talents, and I don't know where you get the time. Um, you know, let alone that, of course, you are a very decorated television anchor. Uh, those that may remember you, but also in marketing now, and you within women empowerment, you've got a, a, a podcast with Lynn Forbes talking about middle age crises. You don't even look past 35, <laughs> by the way. It's navigating life. And I think it's, it's I, will, I always say that we're not having a, pr a crisis. We're having a midlife transition. Yeah. I think crisis is for the men. They have crisis. We have a transition. And I think, yes, Lynn and I are engaging in, well, it's, it's three weeks into it. We talk about menopause, relationships. Some of us are really not good at relationships. We talk about dating, sex. Um, and yes, and I think women, older and younger women, would actually listen to it and, and, um, and feel that they're not alone. And I think that's the most important things if you don't feel you're alone mm. and you feel that there's a tribe of women that are experiencing exactly the same thing we will never have self-doubt yeah encouraging sisterhood I really appreciate that thank you so much Katie for coming into studio that's the founder of W Suite which is women empowerment suite uh, Katie Mohammed talking to us about overcoming the imposter syndrome and also finding yourself in a environment that is healthy and nurturing amongst women you can follow them on social media that's W uh, suite